This one, apparently, Daniel Perez won't let us use. So we're not using this right now. But maybe I'll convince him afterwards. Yeah, we're, we're not we using have, it. We're just looking at it. We have the maple here, right. the big tree obscured in tree obscured, shadow. Which be that one right there. And then here's the stumps. These are the stumps I'm assuming Murphy is indicating in his book. Yeah, we do have some stumps off to our left. Which so, would hopefully be the... Okay. That's definitely one of them over there. And the question is the distance. Well, Murphy's placing... In this photo, it, it looks way back against the, the shadow the line. canyon yep, wall. Is it? Sure, it's like different. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have, to, we have to assume just go off the big tree. Yeah, it's a tough one there. You're going to have to. Yeah. Off that big tree right in the frame right there. Do one we're looking at 32 of that frame right there, the big tree. 323. Well, we have to remember the camera angle is coming from over here. Mm -hmm. So that stump is going to look different. Well, different. You, really, you think okay. it's from over there? Remember where our north-south started? We started from the initial point. He doesn't, does he drift left a lot? Well, he's he's filming kind of northwest at the beginning. Yeah, shifts sweeps north. to here to the three. Right. So 352 is actually pretty close to northern yeah, look, well, he's looking directly north-south at the, uh, well, here, this, actually right there, 323. This might be your northern view right here. 323, yeah, that's, that and would make sense if, the, if this is the... Uh, by yep. 352, he's shifted slightly to the northeast. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's definitely an older, bigger tree than this. This is, that tree's almost, you know, it's behind that one. That's the biggest one, and that one right there. This is just some remnants of this cross right here. Somebody's coming here and do some trimming. <laughs> what do you think about that thing right there? That pole like dead thing there. Yeah, that's the one that be this right here. Like we've got our tree with the vine maples growing around it and the maple next to it here. And then we got this pole here, the dead thing, at an angle. And then behind that, uh -huh. another big tree, should which be, should be that one so over So you're there. thinking this snag, old snag right there. Uh -huh. I don't know. It has some significance. That's, well, uh, it's that's a prominent thing. See? It's an old fir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely see, a fir. See it right there? That but it looks like there's other thing the... is still standing right there. Yeah, yeah. that's probably part of it. Uh huh. Yeah. I can see it. Broken that off that long, part of it. See the piece of wood that's down below it? That's that, that's and it's moved there. down a little bit from, from the creek probably pushing it, but that's the same as that right there, that decomposing log right there. Mm -hmm. But that's probably the top of this. Is yeah. It? Maybe. Yeah, possibly. But unfortunately, okay. that's one of our better views of the yeah. film, which Daniel doesn't want us to use. Oh, hey, hey, look at these. What do you got? These two over here. Oh, I see the two you're looking at right They're now. right over here. Those two right over there. That, yeah, yeah, that's that one side by side. Leaning. These two trees side by side. Well, let's see if one leans the right way. I bet you if we go over there and look and see that this tree's leaning in mm -hmm. to this tree, that's that. They look different sizes, too. Okay, yeah. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, in, this, in this picture, you can see there's a branch, small branch, that's kind of drooping down off of this maple. Mm -hmm. And then if we go up to the maple here, you can see there was a branch there mm -hmm. that's died, right. and it wasn't on a downwardly slope that it's would have probably right created here. this. It's yeah. right here. Yeah, that one. That it might have been that one too. That was kind of. That's kind of unique. But see how it forks out. If it was shot on an angle, but can't we can't see that in there, can we? I think this is lower here. Yeah. With this comparison, it would have been these. This one here. It's hard, it's hard to see that one from that angle there. It is tough. Yeah. Okay. But I just still don't see. I guess it's in the shadow. Is this tree it's back the shadow here? Shadow thing. What about the contour? Does the land look like it curves in a little bit and it kicks back out here? Does this contour fit? It? Yeah. See right here. I really think he's in the creek here. See how this kind of goes in a little bit and then this comes back out and works around. Could uh -huh. this be it right here? Could it like yeah, come in this way a little bit? Follow it a little bit. It curves around here. Now these trees are right there. Yeah, and that one there. Yeah, I think it's very similar. It's got a lot of similarities here. So we'll have to do some more gridding and then we can actually draw in some stuff. And so, uh, it might have had a channel here. Mm-hmm.
Did they never said that this was a channel, huh? No. He's just in black, kind of. I don't think that shadows to me. Yeah. You can see his shadow. That's right. a different color. Yes. I don't know if that's exposed dark rock. Right. Or is that there's, water? There's another one here that's a little different color, too. Well, it seems like the stream kind of goes this way, doesn't it? This looks like there's something there. Yeah, like this thing is forked over time. Mm -hmm. And, so, you know, this this creek has obviously meandered around. Okay, but this is a low point. I think it's had water yeah, through Yeah, this here. is a low point, obviously, because we're standing yeah. a little higher. And you drop down here. And this isn't quite... This isn't... There's a little bit of organic material here. Doc's been helping us dig here. Here, yeah. show us some... Slowly. There's some organic material here. Go ahead, show us, show us some... Dig it. Do some work. So there's we're on top of some rotting material right here, but there's still a little bit of a little bit of silt. Here's the root systems on top of this. But yeah, you go down here, you're running into uh, 64 flood material. That's a pretty old. That's gravel right there. Yeah. River rocks. That's good. That's good. In making our grid, we've uh, established our initial visual site and we're, we're measured across from there all the way to a known maybe maple which was 389 feet is that what it was no it was 376 or whatever yeah anyway we're at, this is the middle point uh, between that and we're drawing our east-west grid now from first from sighting the creek down behind you there to here is the middle point 189 feet and we're at the very middle of the grid. If we, that's our division. Uh -huh. and south. Now we're going to do our east-west as far as we can do it. All right, and I'm going to come to you then. Robert's off in there. It's hard to see where his flag is. This is the middle of the sandbar. Facing east. Facing north, facing west, running south towards the creek in the first sighting spot. That's the other step to your left. Uh, see that, those two little trees in front of you with the Y? We're actually going to, we can go between those trees or to the left of them either way. You're going to drop off into the creek here. Oh yeah, I'm going to drop down the hill. So, this way, this so way. direct eastern line leads us to the bottom of the bowling alley. I pick out this, use a tree as yeah. a marker like this one. I'm just going to figure this out best I can. So, yeah, this so is now good. we're going to measure to the opposite side of the creek bank over the there. Side. Perfect from across. That would there. be good. That tree over there. Then we can start at the bottom of this thing where it's easier. Well, I think he'll, once you get over there, we're going to get a pretty good reading. Okay. But either way, we can, you want to you want to add it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Where are you at? Right I'm there? Right there at this thing. Um, 16 feet. 16 feet. Good. Okay. So for my map, 16 feet to the end of the, the gorge okay. here. Okay. And it drops straight down here. We're pretty close to the uh, the bowling alley, right on the edge of the bowling alley. So that's 152 to there. Okay, 152 feet. Awesome. Well, are we are we calling this the Gimlin site, or are we calling it the PGF site? We're calling it the site. <laughs> I think we can confidently we'll say this is the place. This be it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Everything's looking really good so far. So let me get my Robert own. reserves judgment yeah, until the end. As he should. You see how these maples have propagated themselves all the way down? Yeah. I'm glad I wore my wetsuit down yeah, here. too. It is wet. I don't need these. I don't think you'll... Well, I will to hold them up, maybe. Okay. I think once you get over there, you're going to be pretty close to knee level with me. Oh, wait. Here, here. You want to get the, this thing now? Yeah. So I don't come back twice? There it is. <laughs> I'm attracted to shiny objects. It works. <laughs> it is a, it's a Robert. Robert. You got me. Robert. Yeah. 
So, over here, right? Yeah, see those three again? Yep, you're on it. That's why I want to use that tree back there. Because right, I, right uh, yeah, I want to go back to this tree. Yeah, no problem. Because uh, I know it's online. And we know what that link was. I think we have now established our eastern boundary. 110. Yeah, 210, exactly. Now that's 210 feet from the from center. The center okay, yeah. got that on record. Okay, now we're laying out the uh, line to the west here. Yes. Robert clearing dead branches as he goes. That's our bearing. So, you want these branches trimmed to the bottom? Yeah, let's go to the, yeah. That one? That one. And that one. Good? And there's our line.